Heaven is Beyond Imagination by Dr. Jacques LaFrance is an exploration of the concept of heaven as derived from the accounts of 50 individuals who claim to have experienced it firsthand. These eyewitnesses come from a variety of backgrounds, but their stories share many similarities that paint a vivid picture of what heaven might entail. While specific details vary, the overarching themes point to an afterlife that is not merely a reflection of the material world, but rather an enhancement of it, transcending human understanding and expectations. The book opens by establishing the importance of eyewitness accounts in forming a composite image of an ineffable place. Heaven, as it is commonly understood, represents an ideal state of existence, and these narratives offer a glimpse into the profound nature of the spiritual realm. LaFrance contends that these descriptions, although they might not be conclusive proof, provide valuable insight into the afterlife. The music in heaven is described as divinely beautiful. The eyewitnesses recount melodies that are not only enchanting but also have transformative effects on the soul. This music seems to permeate the atmosphere, evoking deep emotions and a sense of unadulterated worship. Unlike anything heard on earth, the harmonies are said to be so intricate and pure that they become an essential aspect of the heavenly experience. The sounds contribute to a pervasive feeling of joy and reverence toward the Creator. Beauty in heaven is cited as being beyond human imagination. Those who share their experiences speak of an environment that is vibrant and dynamic, filled with colors that are more brilliant than any on earth. There is an ethereal quality to the celestial landscape, with places and structures imbued with an inherent glow, possibly a reflection of divine glory. The supernatural beauty is said to communicate the character of heaven, one of perfection and splendor. The waters in heaven are frequently mentioned as crystal clear and life-giving. Whether they are rivers, lakes, or fountains, the waters are associated with restoration and purity. Eyewitnesses describe the water as having properties unlike anything earthly, suggesting that it plays a role in the healing and rejuvenation of those who dwell in heaven. Additionally, the waters are depicted as sources of delight, inviting the inhabitants of heaven to experience refreshment and joy. Flowers blooming in heaven are, according to the narratives, eternally in blossom, exuding a magnificence that goes beyond visual beauty. These plants allegedly radiate a sort of luminescence and are accompanied by fragrances that are both soothing and intoxicating. The reports suggest that the flowers may have a communicative purpose, their colors and scents conveying messages of love and welcome. In terms of joy, heaven is described as a place free from sorrow, pain, and suffering. The happiness experienced in heaven is said to be fulfilling and encompassing, leaving no room for emptiness or desire. Unlike the fleeting and often conditional joy found on earth, heavenly joy is stated to be constant and unshakable, stemming from an eternal source. Peace in heaven is explored through descriptions of an overwhelming sense of tranquility. This peace is not merely the absence of conflict, but a profound and permeating calm that reassures the hearts of dwellers. It is a peace that defies logic, existing despite the knowledge of turmoil that may exist outside the heavenly realm. The peace is described as being both an internal state and a characteristic of the environment. Love is perhaps the most emphasized attribute of heaven. The love present there is reported to be unconditional, boundless, and the very essence of the place. Eyewitnesses describe a deep sense of belonging and acceptance, with a love that saturates the atmosphere, emanating from the divine and shared among the inhabitants. It is a love that strengthens relationships and fosters a sense of unity unlike any experienced in the earthly realm. Relationships in heaven are depicted as being devoid of strife and misunderstanding. The communication among heavenly beings is said to be clear, honest, and loving. Foremost among these relationships is the one with the divine, which is described as intimate and direct. Family and friendships are also said to be restored or deepened, with a strong sense of community and connectedness among all. In addition to these descriptions, the book delves into other aspects and elements of heaven such as light, life, activity, and worship. Light, for example, is not sourced from a sun or any artificial means, but seems to radiate from the divine presence itself, imbuing heaven with an otherworldly luminescence. Life in heaven is characterized by an absence of death, 
illness, or decay. Individuals exist in a state of vitality and energy, eternally youthful and vibrant. Activities in heaven are varied, with the common thread being a sense of purpose and joy in whatever is undertaken. There are mentions of learning, creativity, and exploration with the implication that the nature of such pursuits is infinitely more profound and satisfying than their earthly counterparts. Application of talents and enjoyment of passions are said to be part of the heavenly experience, catering to the full realization of individual potential. Worship in heaven is portrayed as both a personal and communal act that transcends formalities and rituals. Eyewitnesses describe it as a natural response to the divine presence, an all-consuming focus on the source of goodness and love that permeates the heavenly realm. LaFrance's collation of testimony is conscious of the fact that words fail to capture the full measure of the heavenly experience. He posits that the accounts merely scratch the surface of what heaven holds and acknowledges the limitations of human language and understanding. Throughout the book, there is a clear message that the material world cannot adequately mirror the wonders of heaven, and that the experiences described are but a shadow of its true glory. Furthermore, the author does not shy away from addressing the skepticism that exists around such accounts. He recognizes that personal experiences can be subjective, and that there is no empirical evidence to verify these descriptions of heaven. The book is thus offered not as a definitive statement on the nature of the afterlife, but as a compilation aiming to inspire hope and curiosity about the possibilities that lie beyond the mortal coil. LaFrance also tackles the theological aspects of heaven, particularly the differing beliefs about who gains access to this paradise and how that is determined. However, rather than delve deeply into religious doctrine, he focuses instead on the transformative effect that the prospect of heaven has on individuals. The very idea of such a place is presented as having the power to inspire personal growth an orientation towards love, and a reassessment of life's priorities. In conclusion, Heaven is Beyond Imagination is a compendium of awe-inspiring descriptions of an afterlife as provided by those who purport to have glimpsed its wonders. Dr. Jacques Lafrance curates a vision of heaven that is filled with music, beauty, clear waters, eternal flowers, boundless joy, profound peace, unconditional love, and meaningful relationships. While acknowledging the limitations of human understanding, the book offers a tapestry of experiences that suggest the paradise awaiting in the hereafter is, in every conceivable way, beyond the scope of human imagination. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.